Hi everyone, it's Ingrid Jensen here from the Declutter Hub. Welcome to this video all about children's clothing. Now I'm here in front of my daughter's wardrobe and I wanted to give you some of my top tips in how I deal with children's clothing because they grow so incredibly fast and the one moment they have everything that they fit and they can wear and the next moment they come up to you and say I've got nothing to wear I've outgrown everything and kids clothing is something that really is almost a never ending job to do and you have to look at on a regular basis. So I wanted to share with you my top tips on how I do that. Now, first of all, I start with checking the kids wardrobes twice per year, once in the spring and once in the autumn. This way I go with the seasons and it is twice a year a moment that I can look at the clothes and stay on top of it. Now, when I go through their wardrobes, I always ask them to try on some stuff because without a shadow of a doubt, some trousers or shirts have kind of gone to the bottom of the pile or the clothes have become a bit messy and they might not have seen some clothes and they might not have worn them at all. So it is very possible that they don't fit anymore or they do fit and they hadn't realized they might fit. So let them try some clothes on and this way you get more wear out of your wardrobe. Now, if you have clothes that you're keeping for a younger sibling, make sure that you keep those to the side and look at those clothes before you put them away in a bag, in the loft or in a cupboard somewhere. Because you only want to pass on clothes that you want the younger sibling to actually wear. I see a lot of people make the mistake that just open a bag, put all the clothes in that uh, the older sibling can't fit anymore and then just just put everything in a bag and they think to themselves, I'll look at it another time. But then you're basically giving yourself a bigger job the next time those clothes, clothes come out of the bag and the next time they come around. So it's better to do that when you're getting them ready to put them in a bag to pass on for the future for a younger sibling. Now, when you are decluttering and organizing, think in advance of where the clothes are going to go that are going to be decluttered. Are they going to the charity shop? Are they going to go to a younger sibling? Are they being passed on to a friend? If you're giving them to other people, make sure you give them the right clothes. Don't just pass on anything that comes that your kids don't fit anymore, but actually ask them, do you need these clothes? What size? Does the season make sense? If their younger child is in the summer while your child is in winter, you might have an, an overlap of clothes that don't fit at all or are in the wrong season. So check that before you pass it on. And of course, only pass on clothes that you would want your kids to wear as well. My last top tip is besides the clothes to also have a look at all the other things that kids own. Their summer, uh, summer hats, their sunglasses, um, their kids umbrellas, their jackets, their coats, the winter hats, gloves and scarves, their swimwear, their flip flops. All those items probably don't live in their wardrobe themselves, but in other places in the home. So you also on a regular basis just want to have a quick look, check the sizing, let them try on a few little bits so you can then make your shopping list and in advance get them the stuff they're going to outgrow or they're going to need next. So you don't feel you're constantly behind and you're kind of running from one shop to the next and trying to order stuff if it's then tricky to get quickly. So this way you're more on top of their wardrobes. So I hope these tips are helpful for you. So good luck decluttering your kids' wardrobes. This is Ingrid Janssen from the Declutter Hub. Thanks for watching. See you next time.